I've been grinding Arm Wrestling Simulator for a few weeks now, and I've worked my way up to being one of the top players in the game. The thing about becoming one of the best, though, is the attention you start to get from others. Since the beginning, I've said things like this. If you want to be taken seriously, you got to walk in the place and take out the number one guy. Find the biggest, baddest person that exists and take him out. But what happens when you become one of the best? Well, fight Night Fox. Okay, I'll fight Night Fox. This is the story of how I was challenged to an arm wrestling competition by Creecraft, and it all started like any normal Saturday. I had just posted my last arm wrestling simulator video and was grinding away waiting for the update. Then I got a notification that Creecraft was streaming and had jumped on the arm wrestling simulator bandwagon. Upon joining a stream, this is what I saw. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this. The super crystal eye. I'm gonna buy that. 15,000. I'm gonna buy that. Now, for those of you that have seen some of my previous videos, you know that I've missed on every new exclusive pet that comes to this shop. As I've successfully got it, but when you go to the pets, you know what you don't see? Yeah, that's right. The pet that I just bought. I actually did that three times and then one time for you just to prove a point. Am I dumb for doing that? Maybe. This game is different than Pet Simulator in that when a new crazy awesome pet releases, they always come in a limited number. Once that pet number goes down to zero, you can't buy them anymore. So when I saw Creecraft buying all the 15,000 Robux pets, I knew it was now or never to buy one of my own. There was just uh, one small problem. Oh no, man. I don't have any Robux left. This sucks. Yeah, I hardly had any Robux. Playing Pet Sim X is expensive on its own, but now I'm playing both this game and Pet Sim X, and that means I'm constantly a broke boy. I'm broke. Money, zero. Not to mention the last video, I also gave away 50,000 Robux as a forfeit on losing a challenge. Let's just say, uh, my wallet's crying. So I did something I've never done in the entire time I've been on Roblox. I bought 100,000 Robux. That's over $800 that was spent on just this one pet. Yo, uh, use my star code Nightfox when buying Robux. <laughs> Help a brother out. Make Roblox pay me part of their profit. Yeah, thanks gamers. Either way, buying this crazy expensive 15,000 Robux pet, not once, not twice, but nine times, meant that I would be able to make this pet a huge, and once done, I mutated it into a rainbow version. This gave me my new most powerful pet in the game at 40,000 strength multiplier. And this happened just in time as Creek was looking for a challenge. Fight Night Fox? Okay, I'll fight Night Fox. I'll fight Night Fox. All right, I'm gonna send Night Fox the link. I wanna fight Night Fox. Okay, here, Night Fox. I'm gonna send you a link to the server right now. I gotta admit, a good challenge. So when I saw Creek had already dropped 350,000 Robux in the game, I thought I might have a worthy opponent. I'm 20th in the world right now. After all, his confidence was at an all-time high, and I knew he wouldn't go down easily. I, want, I don't want to fight the Blueberry. I want to fight Nightfire. I grabbed my 100,000 Robux pet and jumped in a game with him. Well, this is how it went. Oh, dude, look how far he's gotten. He's got so many good pets, man. Those are cute. Look at your pets. Those are cute. Thank you. But, you know, it's time to equip my my best pets. Here you go, man. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Your army of pets won't help you. It, it, it's over, old man. Oh, dude, he's got a lot of trash talking going. All right, fine. We're just going to hop right into it then. Here we go. Prepare to face Creekwick. Wait, was was that it? <laughs> Bro, was that it? Or maybe that was the fluke. Maybe you forgot to do it. Okay, here we go. Okay. What the heck, dude? <laughs> you spent 350,000 Robux and you just got wrecked like you were a kindergartner going up against John Cena. <laughs> In the blink of an eye, it was over before it really even started. Creek had not only lost, boy, he lost bad. <laughs> So bad, in fact. I, got, I gotta go. I'm, uh, I'm in the stream here, guys. I gotta go. Uh, some important stuff just came up. I gotta go. So, um, I'll see you guys later. That's right. Creek Rage quit his stream. He was done. And, of course, as soon as that happened, everyone in the chat got mad at me for, like, making him in the stream early they were watching. I guess you could say he got the last laugh. I tried to make it up to him by offering him some pets and then beating up on some of the other people that had also beat him in his stream. For now, though, I was still a top dog. Satisfied, I went back to AFK grinding. And for the next three days, my character stood in one spot lifting weights while I went to Canada to a Comic-Con convention for my kid's birthday. Let's go. That brings us to today. And you want to know what's funny? Even after all of that, I still 
can't beat this stupid mutant king boss. And it all is because, uh, well, it, the one thing that I hate about this game and pretty much all simulator games, it's the freaking rebirth. I was in a game and people started asking me like what level I was. And I told them that I was like at a level genius. And I asked them what max was. And I found out that max was like right around the corner. So I went ahead and maxed out, started grinding again. And then the stupid update came out. And what do you see here? More rebirths. So then I had to go in and max again. And it kind of just like kills your progress. And all that to say, when I finally do go back to like strength training, I'm still only getting 2.1 trillion, which is what I was getting last week before I rebirth, before I did all the spending crazy Robux on a massive new pets. It's like you have to continue grinding just to keep up the same pace that you're already making. And uh, I can tell you right now that if that continues on, this game is gonna die because <laughs> I'm already tired of not getting anywhere and having to spend money and my time to basically stay the exact same level I already am. Nonetheless, we do still have a lot of things to go over. I do have this enchanting pets thing and I can do. Get rid of this stupid balancing changing. No more rebirths. Tired of it. How am I ever gonna beat this guy? So I guess the first things first, besides like, you know, the massive hours of grinding that we're gonna be doing this video, is to go through and do the new things that actually came out with this update. And the new thing is... Well, I actually don't know where the new thing is. Is it in the space gym, maybe? Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, it's this thing right here. This will give you 10% more wins. This gives you more luck on egg openings. None of which gives you better enchantment on how much strength you get. I don't understand. <laughs> Why would I care for this? Let's enchant our new big guy right here. Can I just, can I just choose? I can just choose my enchantment. Interesting. All right, well, in that case, I'm actually gonna go through and give everything lucky. I don't have enough rebirths. Enchantments cost rebirths. I've already rebirthed as much as I... No. No! I gave away my rebirths to get... What? Oh my god, I went up 40 something rebirths only to get knocked back down. Are you freaking kidding me? So now I'm only getting two. Why did I do that? That makes me not happy. That makes me. Okay, how high can I go up here before life really starts kicking me in the face? Come on, we have to go all the way to 1500 before life gets really bad. I'm actually not as far off as I thought I would be. Now I can't auto rebirth anymore. That is gone. I actually have to get the wins. Oh, look, wins. <laughs> this is so dumb. Man, rebirths have gotten so much more expensive now that you have to go and do with wins. Rebirth. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, I'm still nowhere. All right, I refuse. I refuse to spend more Robux on this game right now. I understand why they did it. I understand. I understand that was a cheat code and that was a way easier way to rebirth. But the fact that you have to spend rebirths to get lucky things added to your pets, that sucks, bro. Look at this. I have rebirthed 94 times. You have to rebirth 94 times and that's still not even the max. I think the max is like 100 right now. So we are are getting close but like it definitely makes it to where i don't really care to like really grind anymore which is why we're switching our focus that's right mutant king you're safe for now but i'm coming for you one day instead of working on winning we have something else to work on and it requires you to just go all the way back to the beginning this is really annoying why, why can't they add teleporting just to get this thing right here this new limited egg there's a lot of these new limited pets including this super angel pet which is obviously very rare to get it's gonna cost me one win every time I get the limited egg, but you know, we got enough. And the reason that it was like one in 500,000, it's gonna help a lot to uh, have pets that are also very lucky. So we'll equip the best pets. This one's got lucky on it. That one's got lucky on it. That one's got lucky on it. That one's got lucky on it. Yeah, all the rebirth things that I made. Uh, <laughs> it's hopefully gonna help me do this. So let's go ahead and let's just buy three eggs. Let's see what happens. Dragon, dragon, dragon. I don't want the dragon anymore. Dragon, dragon, dra okay. Overseer? Oh, I got the overseer. Okay, we got that one. All right, what else can we get? What else? What else? Come on. 
Well, I'm out of pet storage. Let's we'll see if anything could came out of that. The dragons are only worth 57. The overseers are only worth 105. And those were literally the only two things we got the entire time. Let's just go ahead and craft them all. Whip the best. And it looks like a void evil overseer only gives us 315. That's not good at all, dude. What was the point of this fun egg? I know this super angel is actually really crazy and worth doing it because just the baby rainbow super angel is a 40,000 times boost, which looking at my pets is how much a huge crystal eye is. This pet cost me 100,000 Robux to make. This only cost me one. I guess, I don't know, for the next two hours, I'm just gonna turn on all my lux, delete all of these guys, except for the mushroom. I wanna see what this one is and then hatch like crazy. Wish me luck, gamers. Six and a half hours later. All right, so I have been hatching for about seven hours, and you wouldn't believe it, but uh, this egg that I've been hatching, it says it costs one. The seven hours of hatching eight eggs over and over and over again. Of course, deleting the top three because I don't really care about those. Uh, it actually has cost me zero win. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's a weird bug, but hey, man, I'll take free eggs. It's like a free egg. You just hatch it forever, and maybe you'll get lucky, or maybe you want i mean eight eggs going at like 20 hatches every minute that's eight times 20 that's 160 eggs a minute dude that's a lot of eggs and do that times seven hours probably around 69,000 eggs yo nice but the thing is this is a one in five hundred thousand chance according to those odds i still haven't gotten one yet but uh i should have gotten a couple of the mushrooms as well as the owls let's see exactly how well we've done and if we scroll down to the bottom it looks like like, there's the evil owl. There's an evil mushroom where the baby version is worth 9,000. There's a mushroom for 12. What I don't see is the big boy, the super angel. I definitely don't see that. But we should be able to go ahead and craft all the good ones, which then will give us hopefully a new best pet. Did it give us a new best pet? And the answer is no. <laughs> get one i got one it's a super angel the baby version is worth fifteen thousand. the only problem is uh yeah i definitely needed more than i got this is a big omega mushroom i probably have enough so if i make this one a baby this one this one i could probably craft that into another big and then maybe this one into a big i don't know man there's a lot but i did get a super angel that's great now i just need to get like 500 more of those so what i think i'll do we'll make all of these voids which should help us get some other stuff and then i'll just come right back over here and hatch this egg again and we'll go all night long baby yo good night gamers all right well it's the next morning which means now today is update day again yeah this video was literally a week in the making we've hatched all throughout the night and it has now been long enough that i can go to the void machine and claim all of these guys right here this one this one and then i can craft that to void and craft that to void and craft that to void just craft all these to void real quick and then we'll look at our pet inventory and see where we're at let's uh, let's craft all these keep crafting i huge evil owl is what we got out of that which gives us oh god dude nothing <laughs> we still got this baby super angel here we got a huge evil howl here which just gives us sixteen thousand. like it's still not better than these things dude what have i been doing i literally went an entire week trying to get one pet and it just did nothing for me on top of that with all the rebirths that i'm still having to do and everything else somehow or another i'm even further behind than when I started this week. I hate this game. But with the new update comes the new thing called Super Rebirth, which are rebirths for Super Rebirth tokens used to buy permanent upgrades. So if we go over to the Rebirth area, we can do the Super Rebirth, and it literally just throws you back to the very beginning. You lose all your stats, all of your worlds, all of your tokens, and you start completely over. Just so I can get upgrades on the pet swords, the walk speed, the, all this stuff, all of these 
these rebirths. Oh my god, why would I do that? Oh, all right, fine, I'll do it. Oh no, this seems like a very big deal. It seems. Oh god, I got nothing. I'm a noob again. I'm super noob now. But if I punch things, I still get a lot of things for it. So I guess it's not that bad. Plus, we still get the pets. I still get to equip 32. And if I go to the upgrades, now I have to do 20 rebirths to get that one. Oh man, that sucks. Well, we get one more pet storage. And now it's three. Oh my god, how many super rebirths do I have to do? I can't even super rebirth anymore. It was only that one time. This game is just as bad pay to win as Pet Simulator X is. In fact, this one might be worse because at least in Pet Simulator X, you get to keep all the things. Oh god, is there a new game we guys want to play? I don't want to play this one anymore. And of course, there's a new pet that you can get. It costs 15,000 Robux. I'm still chilling with the last huge pet I got. This game sucks, dude. But there is one huge upside to this and that now I can trade a bunch of pets that I don't need anymore. Because let's face it, uh, I can't grind both this game and play every other game as well. So the new arm wrestling champion will be my alt account. Look how happy he is. It's real creepy. Don't worry. I still have a bunch of pets that I can give away. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button. Also shout out to this person here for winning my last giveaway. There you go. Maybe he can now be the new big boy on the block. Everybody's walking.